Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Mike Butcher. I am the editor at large for TechCrunch. Anyone heard of TechCrunch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a small little blog. Don't worry about it. Hope you guys are, are up for a bit of a, a punchy discussion. One of the things that's going on right now is we've obviously very aware of uh, the personal digital assistants in our homes, the series, the Alexas. And um, what, it's really cool to be um, talking to um, Shabby here. Try and pronounce his last name, by the way. Go on, say your last name. Uri Betevarria. Boom. Okay, after you. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, and you're actually, what's fascinating about your company is that you're really literally coming from almost nowhere um, to really take on the giants like Amazon and, uh, and, and Apple. But what right. is Sherpa? So Sherpa, uh, actually we are coming from Bilbao. It's a great place to build companies there as well. They are very, it's one of the highest rate of, of STEM graduates in Europe and, and the innovation index is really, really high. So we are, have been able to hire very smart people. And, and I think that, let's say that the, the cost is, it's, it's much higher in, in Silicon Valley. So I think, I think we can have a, an amazing team uh, in a, you've, in a, you've raised how much? How much money have you raised? Around so far? 15 million already. 15, one five. Yeah, one five, and yeah. So Serpa, what we do is a it's a personal assistant. It's a digital assistant. Uh, we started doing an app uh, in 2012 with a conversational engine. We became the number one. In 2012, so quite a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah, we were building Sherpa. At the same time as SRI was building Siri before yeah. they were acquired by Apple. So we have another, yeah. So imagine the scene. It's Bilbao. You've got a bunch of PhDs working on an AI. You're at a race with the biggest companies in the world. Yeah. Why haven't we heard of you then? Why are, why are you not as big as those guys? Probably. So one of the reasons is because we have been focusing in the, uh, at the beginning in the Spanish speaking world, we became the number one digital assistant in that, for that language. We reached an agreement with Samsung pre to preload Serpa in Samsung devices for, for, for a Spanish-speaking world. And then uh, we, we went to the, to the English-speaking world. We are not, we are in, an independent company. That's all the reason that, that uh, so as, as you may know that the distribution is really hard for an independent company. If we don't have like, millions of devices to preload something. It's really hard. So that we're, so you're doing this in the Spanish speaking world. Uh, this and in English as well. What, in, in, te in well, initially in Spanish speaking world. Yeah, initially. Initially uh, on any devices or in, in where? In we home? started with Android devices in, in phones. And Android, okay. And then we, we launched also for iOS. And like four months ago, we announced in your uh, in TechCrunch, tech yeah. uh, we announced that we, we have opened our platform and APIs to be able to, so, so others can uh, integrate our system, our system in their devices, smart speakers, cars. And we also announced an agreement with Porsche, Porsche, the car manufacturer. So you're going to be incorporated into Porsche, into Porsche cars? Yeah, that's, that's what we are doing with them. We are working with them to, for the next generation of cars. Give me, give me an example of what it's like to have Sherpa inside a Porsche. So actually, it's really, really cool. So we have been focusing not only on conversational engine, but also on predictive AI. That means that we want to bring uh, like another like layer to the user that it can be more like more useful for the user. So when the user goes to 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 their car, uh, it will be a, a proactive assistant that will let let him know about the like so if, that, so that it let you know about what you need to do next in the car. Next in the car, right. if you have a something, if there is an accident of regular road, if there is if you need to change your tires or if you need to do anything, it will alert you of the, the most important news that you should know based on your interests. And also, most important emails that you have received, it will filter your emails. So it's not just, car, it's not just cars, it's applicable to a whole range of situations. 
One of the things I think is key about this is your focus on prediction. That's right. Yeah? That's right. And so why is it that Alexa, Siri, etc., are have not actually managed to do this prediction thing? They ask you, you ask questions. It doesn't suggest or prompt as much. Is that because that would be kind of weird to have an Alexa predict something for you or say, why, why have you not switched off the lights or so, et cetera, yeah. et cetera? Or... Let, let me tell you why. They, they, there are different cases. The case of Alexa the, uh, is different than, than, than Google Now that, or Google Assistant that they already have something predictive. But let me tell you why we started with that. So four years ago, we did an analysis of the, we analyzed all the queries that we had and we realized that 80, 90% of the queries were related to telling jokes to the system or asking for jokes or insulting the, the system, uh, setting up the alarm, uh, asking for the weather and playing music. Those questions covers around 80, 90% of the queries to, this, to, to any, uh, or the most of the personal assistant. And then, I realized that I have a Martin, a person that works for, uh, works for us as a personal assistant. It's a human. And I realized that I don't ask him weather questions. I don't ask him for tell me jokes. I don't tell, me, tell him to play me music. I want much more from him. So I realized that he's really useful and I don't ask him questions. I just copy on the email. I just and he's always letting me know the most important things that I should know even before I ask. So I said, we should. Uh, so the current assistant uh, capabilities has, has not even, a, they don't have a portion of, of what, what a human assistant can do. So we, we wanted to mimic that in, with, with AI. So we started four years ago and a few months ago, we announced our first product with the platform, and next year we will we will launch that that. So that surely, product. surely you have uh, the likes of Apple, Google, Facebook, Amazon, want hammering down your door. Uh, why are you continuing on in this in this way? A lot of European startups obviously always uh, often exit much earlier uh, to Silicon Valley. Why are you continuing? That's right. It's also true. That, yeah, we we have had some some proposals for acquisition. Uh, but I think th there is an opportunity. The, the market uh, has a hype, and I think it will be, the market is growing year by year on this industry. We want to announce our next generation of products that are, uh, I think they, 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 are, they, have a, they are a leapfrog in the, they are a, we will set up the next generation of digital assistants with that predictive AI and also um, a new way to communicate with the assistant. I think we are working really hard on the user experience. Right now, the current digital assistant uh, tells you the information in the same way. So we are working in a different way to, to let you know the information. And I think we... Before doing any exit, I think we want to grow more. We will raise yeah. a big round right now. And what's, um, what's your sort of current take on the market? Who do you think's best out there right now? Who is the best? So depending on, on what we are talking about, I would say Alexa, and I would say Siri also on the, on the Intonation is really good as well. I think Siri is good. I think I think most they, people think it's not that good. It's good in certain. I think it's really good. They set up. Uh, they they did a very strong foundation where others has been have been able to 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 start. Uh, the problem with Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant is the same. The innovation has been always adding new features. And I don't think that's the way to do a, the next generation of assistant that to do a leapfrog. We have been working in, in a new experience, in a new experience of how to communicate with them. And, and I think that's the solution for, to, for them to, to, to do a very, to differentiate but from. The, 
in, their, in their defense, yeah. they have um, access to millions of devices, um, phones. Uh, they've, you know, they've got product out there in the marketplace. You don't have hardware out in the marketplace, do you? We or don't have hardware. The, what's, the, what's the plan? That's, that's a good question. Actually, we, our strategy is to be an independent company. We are, we are having, we are, will announce many agreements from now to the end of the year or for the beginning of next year, better, uh, with big OEMs, car manufacturers, a smart speaker, manufacturers that they, they, the market needs an independent company that can work with them. So most of uh, some of the, of the big uh, car manufacturers has, been, has approached us to, to reach an agreement with them because they don't want to reach an agreement with, they don't want to give the data to Amazon, Apple, or Google. They want to own their own data. They want to, and that's why they, they like that we are a European company. We are, we, we are compliant with GDPR, we, with ISO 27,000 of security of information. So, so they, so they like our, what we are doing. So yeah. you think that there's still space for AI startups in the marketplace that it's not going to be taken over by the big giants? Actually, there is a bigger space on that. They are, uh, like a few years ago, maybe not, but now it's opening a new space for us. We are uh, having many requests for, for, from big OEMs and car manufacturers to, to, to use our services. So, so I think the market will uh, it's it's very open right now for there's us. There's a French company called Snips you may have heard of. Yeah, I know. Who I know. Are them. trying to do AI on a chip, and they're also now announced that they're going to link it to a blockchain uh, to allow greater privacy, to allow third-party developers to upload algorithms. What do you think of that kind of approach, linking AI and blockchain? No, I think it's great. Uh, this is a um, this is a a way. So I would say more than blockchain, the, like the next, um, let's say the next up big thing to, to do with security is about what we call federated learning. Right. That means that a part of the processing will be on the device. So, so it will be much more private. Uh, you don't need to send all the data to the cloud to, 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 to so, so everything will be more private. That's our approach. That's how we are working on. We are working on federated learning, doing some, some of the processing on the, on the, on the device. That's App Apple made a huge announcement with Tim Cook recently saying that privacy was going to be core to what Apple does. Do you think that privacy is going to be core to AI in the future? I think it's crucial. To, it's, it's one of the big things that we need to, to work on um, we are very concerned on on that. Our company is very concerned about privacy, uh, and I think I think that's something that we we need to be concerned. All all the companies that we are working on, and some of the companies will have problems with that. We have been since the beginning preparing everything to be able to provide that privacy to our users. So so we are we are okay with that. How does it feel being a startup from Bill Bauer? taking on the biggest technology companies in the world? No, it feels uh, I feel really, really good, but we are still are starting. It's a very big, uh, a long path to follow, uh, to, to, to work on. So, but I think we will, we will be one of the big players on the market, in the market in the next few years. Uh, I'm sure of that. We are all the, uh, all the, um, like the, the approaches of the big companies, big VCs, everything, uh, and the market is is very very exciting for us. I think that everything is moving in the right direction for us. So, so it feels really. You've good. You just got to make sure your engineers don't get hired by uh, Apple quickly, right? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. It's not my decision, and no, yeah, no, nah, I don't think. Eh? Yeah, you better make sure that happens. Well, yeah. I mean, check your watches. Let's check again in a year's time or in a couple of years' time. Thank you so much for coming to Web Thank Summit, you, Mike, Shabby. For Make, so Cheers. Thanks very much, Thank everybody. You. Bye. Cheers. Let's go. Thank you. Cheers.